Okay, we're back for the last time. Sorry about that. I forgot I have to do this demonstration on the other projector now. I did two, three demonstrations, one live, and I did two, I actually did two demonstrations, uh, one live and one not live, um, on using my projector I just got back, which is my Optima GT 5600. This projector has a 25,000 to one contrast ratio at 3,000 lumens and full 1080p. This one over here is my NEC projector short throw. This is the uh, DLP M352WS. Look it up for yourself. This projector has a 10,000 to one contrast ratio. And as I said before, that white screens, light gray screens, gray screen cheap mixes do not have the ability to pull contrast. You just can't pull contrast on these screens. And I told you many to many, many times before, when you're buying other projection screens out there, white screens are always gonna be cheaper. The light gray screens are gonna be in between mid-class. And when you start talking about big boy expensive dollar screens, then you're talking about black screens and dark gray screens. Those are screens that will cost you money. So one of the screens we have over here, I'm gonna be using in this demonstration, if I can track it down. Okay, there it is. This is a screen designed by Seymour AV. I met these people, very cool, very nice people. This is called a matinee black, right there, sample sheet. You can look it up for yourself. I think it's around a $3,000 screen, not $3,000. So we're gonna take the matinee black, we're gonna put it right next to uh, the screen paint right here. We're gonna take this right there. All right, and step back. And as you can see, the matinee black has the ability to pull a contrast level where you're dealing with this is the more of the it's a lighter gray screen paint that's the darker version right there it has a better chance of pulling a much better contrast level than the light gray screen or the white screen there's the white screen right there or the call it a medium dark screen because that's pretty much what it is if i stand in front of my projector you'll see the difference between the two of them all right, so that one right there. All right, but as you can see, our technology is the only technology that has the ability to pull off a 100% contrast level. All right, so we're going to take our lights out. I'm going to do a bit of jogging up and down the stairs for you. And like I said, my stairs are dirty. I got to clean them. I know. It doesn't make a difference, and I'll post that video in the bottom of the comment section. I'll put the live demonstration and the non-live demonstration. I'll be using my Optima GT5500 on 2500 to 1 contrast. So as you can see with the lights out on my ultra short throw, sorry, not short throw, my short throw NEC projector with 10,000 to 1 and my, uh, contrast, and my projector is 3500 lumens. As I told you before, if you're looking at a light gray screen, white screen, they only have the ability to be able to produce shades of gray, like darker gray. They don't have the ability to produce a true black contrast level. And we have some of this hitting over on the wall. So you can see the wall right there is another pair of, uh, it's like an eggshell white. Then we have the white screen. Then we have the white to lighter screen paint mix or black technology. And then over here you have a more of a medium gray uh, screen paint mix. There are mixes. All right, let me see where I put my uh, phone at. Let's grab a burning fireplace. Oh, I think there's Christmas music on this one. Now, as I said before, the only way you're going to be able to pull up a somewhat decent contrast level you have to sit in the dark you can't do this with any form of light in the environment or the screen it's going to start to wash out and fade and i'm telling you right from the door it's the truth bar none that light gray screens or any cheap screen paint mixes are not ambient light rejection they don't have ambient light rejection technology and if they don't have ambient light rejection technology that means you have to sit in the dark See this for yourself. This is just with a little bit of light in the environment. Can't pull contrast. All right, let's turn the lights on for that too also. I'm gonna pop my lights on real quick. I mean, we're gonna do, like I said, a lot of bouncing up and down. But I just wanted to show you 
then I can go to the highest amount of contrast on my projector down to 2,500 lumen, I'm sorry, 25,000 in contrast. Doesn't make a difference what you have, you're not gonna be able to pull that contrast. It's a matinee black. As you said before, performing and producing a much better image uh, than the gray screen paints or white projection screen. All right, let's come over here and let's pull up. Um, these are demonstrations I previously did. Let's do a LG. As I told you before, any LG demonstration, any OLED demonstration, the backgrounds, are always black, they are not gray. We don't have any sound set up for this, just to let you know. Alright, let's jog up the stairs again, bring the video back to the beginning, we will pause it right there, we'll take out our lights. So even if you have the lights off, even if you're in a completely dark environment, even if your projector has that 10,000 to 1, 25,000 to 1 contrast, if it's short throw, ultra short throw, if it's 1080p or 720p, it doesn't make a difference. If you can't pull contrast, your screen is worthless. This is still with me with a little bit of light I have sitting in the background. Now the Seymour AV 1.3 is far more better than uh, the, these light gray screen paint mixers out there. Far more better. Here's how faded the image looks. Look what happens the minute it touches our screen. Get those nice deep reds. All right. Let's go over and let's pull up. Um, I'm going to go back a little bit more on that one. I'm going to turn my lights on again. We're going to keep our lights on for the remaining of the video. Because our technology strong points is that the fact, number one, it's black. But on top of that, it's ambient light rejection technology. Keep in mind, the background on the OLED demonstration is to be black, not gray. Okay, let's grab ourselves another demonstration. I like to do Tron. Now, like I said, the Seymour AV Matinee Black is producing a fantastic contrast level. And like I said, this is a company that's been around for a very long time. 
and you can see our screens are basically matching in other ways they're matching we still pull up a higher contrast level as you can see now in order for them to invest the time and money into their screen they had to test it against other screens much as white screens or probably a few gray screens now if they know that the bottom line is that a white screen or a gray screen is not worth the time they would have never ever developed this technology if it was worth the time to basically have a white or gray screen they would have never developed this technology and keep in mind as i said before when it comes to white screens these are bottom dollar screens when it comes to light gray screens or medium class depending on what they can do i would never put a light gray screen paint as a medium class because there are things that a gray cinema 5d can do or a Seymour a seymour av 1.3 can do that a light gray screen cannot do especially when it comes to the mix. Now keep in mind, 10,000 to one contrast, and my projector is pulling up, my screen is pulling up an image in a fully lit environment, and the black levels are not fading, colors are bright, and if you look at this on the white screen and the gray screen paint mixes, it's faded and it's washed out. Like I said, there's not much difference from a light gray screen than a white screen. They look exactly the same if you look at them. Look at the angle on our technology compared to a a lighter screen. Now, as I said before, we produce a true contrast level next to the Seymour. So that's our technology next to the Seymour uh, Matinee Black. We do produce a much higher contrast level. And that right there, my friend, is probably a $3,000 projection screen. But this would look much better versus a screen paint mix. All right, let's grab the City. This is a City Black Calibration demonstration. Now, like I said, when somebody tells you that their light gray screen paint mixes are not ambient light rejection they're telling you the truth it's not in any way form it's not an ambient light rejection screen technology it's the basic simple demonstration it's the demonstration you will not see them do now if i take the seymour black which i'll take over here and i'm sorry matinee black matinee black and i'll put that right there you will see a huge difference the matinee black, this is a screen that's been developed and researched for many, many years. It sells on the market. And as you can see, it's pulling up the same, uh, almost a similar black level to our technology. So why would a company that's been in business for years shy away from a light gray screen And invest into a much darker, darker um, um, contrast. Uh, a, screen that, a screen that has the ability to do a much darker contrast. Now I'm going to pause this right here. Let me show you something really quick. We'll pause that. As you can see, the matinee black looks way better than the gray screen mix or the white projection screen, the white projection screen you can get off Amazon. Pulls much better contrast. But like I said, our technology is the only one with a true black level. And this is the reason why when you watch demonstrations, you can't figure out why when I watch demonstrations on these light gray screens, why are they always sitting in the dark? 
because they cannot pull, they don't have, well actually, not only can they cannot pull contrast, but they have very, very poor ambient light rejection, which means you have to sit in the dark. And when these, when these screens do demonstrations, they will always stick to nice, beautiful, bright colors. My camera's to focus a little better. Now you see how much better the contrast level comes up when the screen sits in the dark? Produces a much better contrast. Even the white wall. Look at the white wall. The white wall matches the screens perfectly. Doesn't match ours because ours is pulling a true contrast black level as you can see. When look at the white wall compared to the white screen paint mix, compared to the 1.1 white screen, it all looks the same. Even the darker version all looks the same. But when it comes to our black technology, we can show a difference. And this is why you have to sit in the dark because that's the only way you can get a decent image. Because if I turn on any lights in the environment, your screen is going to start to fade and wash out. Okay, put the lights back on again. Yeah, I do a lot of jogging up and down the stairs, I'll tell you that much. Whew. There you go. All right. We'll do an OLED contrast demonstration. Lights on. Yeah, that's my projector making all that noise. Keep in mind, my projector is noisy, but it's in eco mode. That was in eco mode. I'm gonna get sounds up. See how faded the image is washed out. I'm gonna take this down real quick and show you how faded the image is washed out. See exactly where you're getting. I said none of these demonstrations will ever get done. Can't, like I said, before and over and over again, you can't do this. Can't do this on these screens. Let me come over here real quick. I got this. Sorry about that. I was trying to find a video.
And that's it. Can't pull up a contrast. You gotta have contrast. Everything you do, you have to have contrast. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here real quick. I'm gonna pull up my uh, Starfield demonstration really quick. Go back over here to my Starfield demonstration. There you go. It's the matinee black. Starfield demonstration. Way better than the uh, this is a light gray screen paint mix. This right here, if I can get this to come up a little bit. There we go. Darker screen paint mix. The matinee black. The white. And then versus our technology. We'll do this again. We'll do go fish. darker screen paint here so the reason why the matinee black at three thousand dollars is not matching the light gray screen paint because this is a more advanced screen I'm gonna put it right here Again over here. Put it again over here. It's a darker. And then we'll take it and we'll put it against our technology over here. If you notice, our screen produces such a dark rich image that now this screen looks like these screens. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. This right here is my uh, NEC short throw. This is an HDMI DLP projector. It is an M352WS. You can look it up for yourself. The projector is around 10,000 lumens. I'm um, sorry, not 10,000 lumens, 10,000 contrast. 3500 lumen 720p and over here i'll show you the video at the bottom of the optima gt 5500 at 2500 lumens oops, so fell off at 2500 lumens versus the screen paint mixes and the seymour av sample sheet as i said before you can see the advancements of the seymour av sample sheet over these cheaper paints uh, due to the fact that they don't have the ability to be able to produce contrast. If not contrast, you really can't get true color. I have to go. Again, thank you all for your time, and God bless. Just want to add this last video in there. Okay.